Welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. Today we're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be a little bit of an adventure. This is my center point crossbow that I bought a long time ago. I did a review on it and you can see from the tape here I still haven't tried this thing out yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, show you a little bit of an experiment. Now these here are the center point arrows. Guys I looked online like 75, 80 bucks for a dozen of these. And there's various types of arrows out there. So what I did is I thought I'd do an experiment. I got these ones here. They come like this. A dozen for 35 bucks. I read the reviews and it is just, you know what, for the money, I'll try it because why should I go out there and spend like 75 or a hundred dollars on a dozen arrows and just lose them all right <laughs> because I've never tried the crossbow yet this is all new to me the only thing I did is I mounted the scope I locked everything down with some thread locker and as you can see here I bought a target look at the size of this target like this is huge it's like 20 inches square so we're heading north let's go up to northern Ontario Let's try this baby out. Well, here we are in Northern Ontario. Welcome to my little bit of paradise up here. For you who've never been here before, this is my 100-acre uh, getaway off-grid. Just a terrific place to get away, you know, when you have time and just get out of the city. So I got the crossbow here. I got everything all set up, and uh, we're going to see how this shoots. Let's get to it. Okay, here we go. You're looking at the target out there, and that's exactly 10 yards. That's where you're supposed to set it up for the first shot. So let's, uh, let's see if I can hit this target somewhere. Well, that's not too bad at all. Okay, let's go take a look at that. Okay, let's go and take a look here. Guys, that's not too bad really, you know, for the first shot. So it's got to come over to the right and just up a bit. So uh, I'll keep practicing. And as you can see, I got it all marked all the way out to 50, 50 yards, but I'm only going to probably do 40 at the most. So this is it right here. I just got to pull that out and start firing again. Okay, so it's pretty dark in here, but as you can see, you can see the target out there. I'll tell you what, most of my life, harvesting an animal at 20 yards, that's about, the, that's about my average that I've been shooting 20 to 40 yards. When you're in the bush and it's pretty uh, thick bush, that's about it. So this is going to be the first shot at the uh, 20 yard mark. You can see how close I was on the 10 yard. Let's take a look, see how we do with the 20. Well, as you can see, it is a lot more narrow now when it's all cocked and uh, very light. I'm really liking this a lot. Okay, let's see how we do with this one here. Well, I can't even see where it is, guys. <laughs> Let's go take a look. Well, I looked all over for that arrow. I could not find it. Bringing that target back up to 30 yards. See how we do there. I mean, 30, 30 feet. See how we do from there. Instead of uh, 20 feet, we'll try 30. Because I can't find that arrow. And I'll just aim right for the center. Okay, like that's almost dead on the center. So I don't know what happened to that arrow, but uh, we'll try this again. And you know what? I'm gonna keep on practicing here for a bit until I get it a little fine-tuned, because I know for sure my tractor's gonna find that arrow in my cutter somewhere. <laughs> so I'll be back in a minute. 
Okay, we're back out to uh, 20 yards, 60 feet. I'm just wondering if maybe I had one bad arrow for some reason. I'm not too sure, but uh, I'm just going to put it right on the bullseye and see what we do. There's no way I could be that far off. Well, I could hear it hit, but I can't see where it is from here. Well, there we go right there. That's my fourth shot. You can see there's two over here, one way over here when I first started, and the one right in the center. <clears throat> and I'm saying that's pretty good to me. And uh, I didn't find it hard at all to, uh, to figure out how to actually move it to the left and the right and how many clicks. It's, uh, it's quite easy and it's quite easy to shoot. It's not like a rifle with uh, recoil. No, this is just amazing. So now I'm moving on down to 20, 30, and 40 yards. Okay, here we go. 30 yards, 90 feet. Now I'm just gonna use the uh, crosshairs here and I'm just gonna put it where it says it should be. Well, I hit it. Okay, to me, it looks like it dropped about eight inches if I held it right at the crosshairs. So now I'll use the, uh, the markings on the scope and I'll line it up for 30 yards and we'll see how we do. Okay. Right on the 30-yard mark. Well, I hit it! Well, as you can see, it is not so easy to actually sight it all in with just a couple of shots. You have to probably fire, I would say, maybe 50 to get really used to it. I'm going to have to spend some more time, you know, behind the bow, getting used to it. Fine-tune the... Uh, you know the settings and uh, you know what it's a lot of fun I find that's uh, a pretty good uh, crossbow very quiet and uh, very lightweight now that arrow <laughs> I'm not too sure what happened you guys let me know in the comments if you got any idea what could happen maybe it was a bad arrow maybe I'm not too sure what happened but I can't find it nowhere so thanks for joining me here today and a little bit of review of this crossbow and Actually, it is pretty easy to sight in. So, you guys take care. Come back again. Never, never seen this channel before. Well, you're welcome to subscribe. As you can see, the bugs are out. And uh, I got lots of grass cutting to do. Cheers.